Windows 10 has been good to us for a few years now, and it's safe to say that after a bit of work, it's the best version yet. So when Windows 11 came along, we were all a bit skeptical. Now, if you don't have a new machine with Windows 11 pre-installed, then you're probably seeing a lot more prompts on your older machine asking you to upgrade to Windows 11. After all, it's free. Well, what exactly does Windows 11 do? Why do I need it? What's the urgency? Well, as of October 2025, Windows 10 will stop receiving updates and support, making it practically impossible to work with any future apps or programs that come along in the following years years. Don't worry, you get to keep Windows 10 for the time being, if you're still unsure. But the following upgrade is inevitably going to happen. So what's the harm in learning what Windows 11 can bring to the table? You never know, it might surprise you. I know many are still on the fence about Windows 11, with more reports of problems than positive use cases, but with everything new, it does take time to get right. And many often forget that Windows 11 has had three years of improvements under its belt, so there's no doubt that it's shaping itself into the best system that it can be. First, let's talk about system requirements and if your PC is capable of installing Windows 11. Because it's not brand new, a lot of modern PCs definitely have the right requirements already, but older PCs might need a bit of setup first. As with every operating system, your PC has to meet it halfway, so if you're upgrading from an older system, the PC has to have a minimum of a compatible processor that's one gigahertz or faster. There is a full description to the list of compatible processors in the description below. Four gig or more of RAM, 64 gig or more of storage, a compatible graphics card with a Direct X12 or later, with a WDDM 2.0 driver, and a high definition display with a 720p or higher resolution. Of course, there are some specific security requirements that PCs five years or older might not have, like the secure boot system firmware and the TPM 2.0, but these can be checked in your BIOS or enabled in Windows security. But if you're not sure on how to activate these features, then Windows do have easy to follow guides on their website that have also linked in the description below. There's also an even easier way to double check your PC's compatibility with Windows 11 without doing any questionable changes to your BIOS. Download the Windows Health Check app, find the banner for Windows 11, and it will list all the requirements with a check mark against your specifications for you so you can clearly see where you need to upgrade. Now, Microsoft is definitely taking those next steps into utilizing AI technology like Copilot by including neural processors into all of their machines going forward that are capable of processes like real-time translations and image generation. So if you're planning on upgrading an older machine to Windows 11, be aware that Copilot also has its own requirements, like a minimum of 256 gig storage and 16 gig of RAM. With it being in the early stages though, you don't really need to worry about it just yet. But it's always good to consider future-proofing your PC to make the most of those handy features. So if you're yet to explore Windows 11, here's a quick rundown of everything it can do. The interface, apps, and layout of everything in Windows 11 has been designed for consistency. The rounded edges, bright colors, and newer app icons not only look simpler, but they're much cleaner and much more pleasing to look at. Now they've closely studied the way the modern PC user works and have adapted favorite built-in features like snipping tool, media player, and widgets to include all the tools that you need in one place rather than resorting to third-party programs. It's the little things like the screen record feature in the snipping tool or the tiled window snap options in the web browser and desktop that make 11 a little more convenient to use. Even though the constant check-ins with the authenticator app and the verifications on downloads can be frustrating, the lockdown on security is much more efficient than Windows 10 in so many ways. Just like the trusted platform module that I mentioned earlier, Windows 11 is more resistant to malware, making it the safest operating system out of the two in our always online society. Let's face it, older systems are going to start phasing out support to the latest apps too, and with everything so heavily integrated in online connectivity, it's time to start thinking about future-proofing your system for the next few years. Even if your older machine can support Windows 11, your processor, GPU, and RAM might not be powerful enough in a year's time thanks to the rapidly changing technology we use on a daily basis. While game mode boosts your game performance and prioritizes specific tasks, playing games on Windows 11 can be a much smoother experience. From auto HDR enabled gameplay to support for DirectX 12 Ultimate, it's improved a lot on the little features, giving you better load times on the Xbox app, for example, though it won't make your gameplay instantly better. Tweaking the game specific features in the settings is now easier to find and it's labeled clearly, so even a novice gamer can make improvements. If you're ready and your computer fits the specifications, then there is no real harm in upgrading to Windows 11. Of course, if you just prefer 10 and its interface, then you still have up until October 2025 to make the transition. 
At the moment though, it's not much faster, and up until the time you need to upgrade, you still get update support. But Windows 11 has been built to accommodate modern technology and work in harmony with the way we work now. It's so much easier to use, and the interface has been streamlined to focus on what you need. And it's equipped to work perfectly with any new software integration in the future. If you're ready to upgrade and you're sure that your PC is compatible, then here's a few ways to get started. Banners and pop-ups within your PC. The easiest way is to click on the prompt that appears on startup. But if you've dismissed that, you can always find it in the Windows updates. At the top of the page, just click on the Windows 11 banner to download and install. Number two, download the installation file directly from Microsoft's website and follow the instructions on your device. Always double check though that the download is from the official Microsoft website and not on a website posing as Microsoft. Install using a downloaded ISO from a bootable USB. This only really applies if you want to install an operating system from scratch. It does require a bit of an experienced hand working within the BIOS, so only attempt this installation if you're confident enough to do so. With all that said, good luck with upgrading to Windows 11, whether that's today or in the future. But if you want to learn more about the latest tech or you're in the market for the best deals, don't forget to subscribe to Box's YouTube channel or check out our website. And as always, thanks for watching.